For me, first of all, uh, mapping its uh, knowledge. Uh, uh, as a researcher, as an activist, somehow uh, as a tourist, uh, um, I need a map, first of all, because uh, I don't have any sense uh, of orientation, so I really need something uh, to understand wh where I am, what I'm doing, and so on. And, um, uh, of course, uh, uh, as a researcher, uh, an urban planning architect, uh, uh, I look the spaces of a map as uh, um, building or commerce or open spaces. Uh, or, uh, or So I try to individuate the different typologies, the scale and uh, the pattern and so on. So um, mapping, it's of course the knowledge uh, of uh, how is a satellite a city or how is done a landscape and so on. So first of all, mapping is knowledge. Um, then of course, uh, could be a tool uh, to uh, link subjects that uh, maybe they are nearby, but uh, they are not getting in touch for many reasons because they are a kind of gated community staying uh, really uh, nearby, but uh, with different words uh, and connection. Mm -hmm. So somehow mapping for uh, organizing an event that I did for many times, uh, it's, try <coughs> it's really trying to connect different words and uh, so uh, let's say bring colors uh, in a territory or let's say um, show the diversity of uh, a city, of a space, uh, of uh, a way of uh, making things uh, uh, in the space. And many other things. If uh, um, I am, uh, of course, uh, uh, as I said, as a researcher or as an activist, it's knowledge or uh, a tool to make uh, events. And of course, uh, if I'm a tourist, uh, uh, again, uh, <coughs> it's also uh, uh, a device to know uh, about the history of a, of a place. So. Also, I like uh, uh, when I'm mapping uh, to read the name and uh, to understand oh, where is coming this name. Uh, it's, uh, so it's, uh, it's uh, a, a, the kind of deposit of tradition that I would like to read. And uh, what are the points you retain most from yesterday? Okay. From the workshop. Yeah. Um, I think you point out five elements uh, quite interesting. Um, so I don't know if I remember all the time, but it was uh, uh, knowledge, participation, uh, then action, uh, uh, and other two that I don't know at the moment. But anyway, I think there were key points uh, to uh, that I'm also using, as I told you before. And uh, it's true that uh, they could uh, in a way, in, in a map, uh, uh, take a different direction. Mm -hmm. So if you are, in a way, not really engaged and uh, if uh, the relation that you are creating in a map uh, um, going in the direction of uh, exclusion, um, those uh, network will became gated community. But then if uh, this uh, first point on a map uh, will become the first, uh, let's say, platform for a more wide community. This is uh, a tool uh, for uh, uh, develop uh, a huge network of uh, information, subject, exchange of knowledge, uh, and so on. So I think uh, from yesterday, the most interesting part, it was uh, your <laughs> uh, uh, slides with uh, the main uh, direction that could uh, pick up uh, the research of an action and uh, of course I liked really a lot also uh, what uh, Pierluigi Crosta said I think it was uh, simple but quite important that uh, anyway also in the past uh, a map uh, have also um, a military function uh, so you are colonizing uh, a point uh, and uh, you are defining your strategy. Uh, you are defining your strategy against an enemy or any way to reach someone else. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really uh, important, I think, uh, 
we are not mapping, uh, uh, you know, uh, just to, to design uh, on a mm. white uh, mm. paper. Uh, is because uh, we want to draw uh, a new vision, to reach new contacts, uh, to have more information. Uh, and then probably it's also true that uh, the first mapping don't have uh, the uh, knowledge to know in which direction you will go in the future. Mm.